Welcome back to Fossil Dig Finds, where we're looking at some discoveries made during the Australian Opal Centre's annual Fossil Digs, where a group of lucky people get to do some really cool and unique stuff at Lightning Ridge with paleontologists and opal experts, including having the opportunity to be the first set of eyes in 110 million years to see some amazing fossils which are discovered right there on the spot. Sometimes these discoveries are easy to identify, things like teeth and yabby buttons and snail shells, but other times the fossils are very clearly fossils, but what they specifically are is harder to determine. I spoke to paleontologist Dr Phil Bell from the University of New England Armadale about one of the dig's previous discoveries, a grouping of bone fossils that has paleontologists scratching their heads. This is a collection of mystery bones that have come from one particular site. The unusual thing about, I guess, a lot of Lightning Ridge material is that it's all small. So getting anything this size is quite unusual. You can see they've all been quite busted up because they've come through the, the machinery and we've done our best to, to piece some of them back together to try and get a few more clues um, as to what these things are. They're quite big, as I said, which at least hints then that they're from an animal that's big. Maybe something like a sauropod, one of the long-necked dinosaurs, but we can't really be sure. There's not really enough there to identify them. But then there's this piece, which is really fascinating. And you'd see that it's got a very different shape to everything else that's come out of it. This kind of hook-like end, and then a deep cavity on this side. It, it too is broken, so it's not all there. Um, but there's just enough to, there to tell us that this is the back end of a jaw, a lower jaw, of an animal. This cup would have formed the hinge with the, with the upper jaw, uh, and the rest of the, uh, the lower jaw would have been out this end here. So it would have formed a hinge like this, so the jaw would have been kind of lifted um, from this point uh, to open the jaw. Now, it's still a mystery. We don't know what this animal belongs to. Uh, there are hints of crocodile. There's hints of temnospondyl, which are an extinct giant group of uh, amphibians, but also marine reptile as well. So it's, um, it's one that's had us guessing for, for a few years. Uh, we've sent casts of this to experts around the world, all of whom are scratching their heads. So, I mean, that's enough to, to make you, you wonder uh, and get quite excited about something like this. If you can't identify it, um, then you have something pretty special. So this is some more material out of that same collection. It generally looks the same as, as the rest of it, kind of big platey chunk. But if you look at the kind of inside of these, they're, they're quite hollow or there's air spaces on the inside. And that gives us a, a, few, a few clues as to who this came from. Certain dinosaurs, such as the sauropods and the theropods, had quite hollow bones because they had uh, an air system, lung system, quite similar to birds. Birds have hollow bones and really complicated respiratory systems um, that kind of pervaded their bones. So essentially they breathe through their bones in a way. This hollowness that you see here and also in this specimen again points to um, something like a sauropod for these. We don't quite have enough to, to really clinch the deal on that but it's suggestive enough um, to, to say that you know, these could be some of the, the first sauropod bones that we have from Lightning Ridge. We have quite a number of teeth but their bones are as yet missing. If we hear any more information about the nature of these pieces, whether they turn out to be sauropod bones or something completely different, I will make sure to make a video about it, so stay tuned. This video was made with the support and participation of the Australian Opal Centre in Lightning Ridge. You can follow the AOC on Facebook to keep up with their projects and future events. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to IDU Curiosity on YouTube and following along on all of your favourite social media platforms. Thank you for watching.